Welcome, I'm Jonathan Kay from Sims You Share, and today's session is going to be answering the question, I want to embed a simulation into my web page or into my LMS, how can I do it? This is um, a brand new feature, very excited to bring this to you. And we're going to show how you can bring an interactive simulation directly into a web page. And I don't think really it's been done in any other system. So what do I mean embed? I mean that you can not only uh, have uh, a running sim where you um, put it into some, like as a video, these sims actually will retain their interactivity. So you could have, for example, some training content where you're discussing that training and you have your sim right there that people can play. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to put the sim into this LMS. This one is from JNB Learning. So a few of the example, why would you wanna do this? Let's say that your department SOP is talking about incident status reports. And so right next to your, how you wanna tell people to do that, you can put some practice or example simulations. Another possible example would be you you're gonna have a promotional exam, you wanna give some practice simulations for the candidates. So when they come in to the actual test, they're more or less comfortable with the way the technology is gonna be presented. You take that out of the picture and hopefully reduce the chances of challenges. Third example might be, a, let's say you're doing continuing education module on vent limited fires and you wanna be able to accompany that lesson or those lectures with sims that can be used as demonstrations uh, from your own first do. So now this new feature in Sims You Share, which I say is unique, allows you to put the simulation with all its interactivity into a web page or using, let's say, a content tool like Articulate Storyline to develop your training. You can also just email the sim as a link. Um, but particularly what we're really excited is being able to put it into a learning management system like JMB Learning, like uh, Fire Rescue One Academy, Target Solutions, Blackboard, really any system that you can embed HTML content. So now when I say embed, I want to contrast the idea of embedding a video, which is typically what's done. So a video, you play through each time. You record the video, it plays the same from start to finish. If you wanna do a walk around, you have to walk around the whole thing. An interactive sim keeps all the act interactivity, meaning the navigation, the timing, the different conditions, everything in there. So it can be more engaging and, and it can have consequences based on the viewer's decisions. Another thing about video is it's generally time consuming to prepare. I'm gonna show you with the interactive sims, there's no prep time. You click a button, you get a link, you're done. You then have to put that into your LMS or on your web page. And then with video, again, you have to upload. And with the interactive sims and sims you share, there's no need to upload anything. It's already in your sim cloud account. So let me show you, um, um, let me show you how you actually go and get your interactive sims into these, the, it, to be able to embed. When you're in your CTC, you're gonna to go to your simulations tab. And under manage simulations, you may have noticed if you logged in recently, we reorganized the buttons on the right hand side. And now there's gonna be a button called sim embedding. So to embed a sim, all you have to do is you click on the sim you wanna embed, and then you see there's a button that will say allow sim embedding, and you click on it. When you click on it, now it will show these two boxes, one sim URL, that just gives you a link that you can share or the embed code, which is the iframe. And you can just copy this over. You see the little icon on the right-hand side with the little two documents. You click on that and it copies it to your clipboard so you don't have to kind of scroll and drag and try and do the um, copy commands. So embedding in a web page is basically, let's say you had a web page like over here and you wanted to just stick the simulation in here using whatever tools, and I'm gonna show you now this, how to do this live, you're gonna take that, um, you're, to embed it in a web page. I'm gonna go back here. You're gonna take the embed code. You see how it starts with iframe. And all you have to do is just in your web page, and I know this looks a little technical. Uh, if you're creating web pages, you might already be familiar. You're gonna just drop it right there where you want it in your page. And that's it. 
And then you get this little, what we call a poster, and they have to click Start Sim to, um, uh, to get it going. So I'll show you, for example, in our free simulations here, you'll see if I go click on, let's say, Residential Urban Sim 1. You'll see here, these are all embedded that exact way with what we call iframes. So if I now just go click on Start Sim, you see it loads, and now you've got your simulation here. And see, I can click on it. I can use all the navigation. If you wanna um, make it larger, you can set that up as the width and height, or you can actually go here and go full screen right out of the page. And see, I can have all the navigation set up, have the person go through here, and then I can even have changing conditions either by time or by keystroke. And you might have other things in your web page, checklists, you might have questions, everything like that can be surrounding your simulations. So that's um, what you saw over here, embedding it into a, directly into a web page. Now let's actually go and see what would it be like to send the simulation as a link. So all you would do for that, and then we're gonna actually go and see how to inter, put it into an LMS. So to, to, to go in as a link, all I have to go, I go and enter my, I go to my Sims you Share account, my CTC account, I click on simulations, and then let's say I want to embed 1024 Stockton. I click on it. And if I go now here to SIM embedding, you'll see there's a button, allow SIM embedding. I click on it and they are now SIM URL and embed code. So if I want to send this as an email to someone, I just click on the copy over here and I can then bring up um, my email uh, program. And let's say I just copy, I would paste that in to my email and say, hey, checked out this SIM. Right here, I'm just gonna paste it in place here in the address bar. They would, they would, when they click on it, it will open up a browser. And you'll see in a moment, they'll start sim, they click on it, and now they're running the simulation. And you see all the arrows and all the timing and everything is in place. So very easy to be able to share a simulation just as a direct link. So now let's take a look. Let's say if you have in an LMS, and this one is the, um, Thanks to Jones and Bartlett for letting me show it here. If I go, let's say I have this, this is from a book, an upcoming book. I go here and I wanna embed it in here. I say, okay, uh, let me go back to my, um, go back over here. I'm gonna go get my embed code. So, cause I wanna embed it into a page, the iframe there. I clicked on that. Now, let me go back over to uh, Jones, to the LMS. I'm gonna go and edit my, the, the place that I wanna put it in. And here I've got my incident status reports for single family residences. Let's say this is the training. So now I edit over here and you'll see, um, I started this page, incident status reports, here's a test or whatever. And you'll see I already put in two simulations embedding. And this is the only trick, depending on your LMS, you have to figure out, I, I sort of put a placeholder here, next sim goes here. This is gonna be a little bit technical because I'm gonna have to look at the code of this and drop the code in. Maybe your LMS has something easier and I'll show, for example, with Target Solutions making a text box. But this, once you get the hang of this, it is pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go, I need to be able to look at this document with just the actual HTML, the web code. And there's a little box over here that lets me do that. And I go over and I see, oh, this is where there's next sim, next sim goes here. That's where I want it to go. So all I have to do is go and take this, I want, that's my placeholder, and now I'm gonna paste it in place, and there's my iframe, and it's all done. So now, um, in this case here, I can actually go to the bottom and save it and display, and in a moment, you'll see, save and display, and there's the simulation, and it's right there in the web page. it automatically starts. Couple more things you'd have to do to just get this, what we call poster image, but that's basically it. It's there, it'll load when your page starts and you can see you can have all your training information surrounding it and people can do whatever they want with that. Now the size over here is bigger than that because if we looked at that, uh, when we looked at the, um, the, the size information for the iframe, it specified 400 by 300 pixels. So we could change that. So these I think are probably 300 by 200. So there's different settings you can go in there to size it to how you want it to appear on the page. So 
that really is it. You just click, get the link, and then based on your learning management system, your web page or whatever, you just put it in place and it should sit there. Now, if I in the future decide, let's say I'm back in the organizer, I'm done editing this, then I say disallow SIM embedding. So now it no longer will be uh, uh, readable in that class. So um, you'd have to, uh, if you wanted to put it back in, you wanna make it allowable again, you'd click on allow SIM embedding and you'd go through the process again of making the URL and the embed code. So there are different codes. It doesn't let you update the SIM with the same code. You would have to go in uh, and wanna make sure also not to turn off SIM embedding if you're using this simulation in an LMS um, and don't wanna uh, accidentally turn off access to it. So we know also many of our customers use target solutions. So this is a description of the process that was given to me by Tim Riley, who's a senior client success manager. I don't know uh, uh, which regions he manages, but uh, maybe you know Tim, really good guy. So he's a senior client success manager. And he says, if you um, don't or are not already familiar with putting in HTML into your page, please uh, contact your client success manager or I put it, Tim's information right here. He said he'd be happy to help. The idea in Target Solutions is gonna to be to create a custom activity. And then in a text box, you're gonna be adding this, uh, some of this stuff here, this A, H, ref. You'll notice here in the middle, HTTPS and all that, that's gonna be your URL. That's gonna be the SIM link that you're gonna get from, um, from SIMs you share. And then if you, you, you put this, you just put this into a text box, you could create multiple text boxes. As he said, add any desired reportable components, date, duration, or whatever. Then for more SIMs, just copy and adjust. You can also adjust the title. You see how it says residential. That's how it will show up in your page. You could change it to whatever you want it to be. And you just change the URL and you're all done. As I said, if you need assistance with target solutions, and this doesn't make, if this it looks a little complex, then I would absolutely suggest contacting your client success manager or contact Tim directly. Uh, we're also talking to other LMS vendors like Fire Rescue One Academy, Blackboard, et cetera. And uh, they've been very receptive. They see how important this is and, and more than happy to help you integrate it into your own LMS or into your web page. Just please let us know. So, at actually not 15 minutes, it was 13 minutes, but that was close enough. Um, I really appreciate your attention here. I wanted to also let you know this webinar is being recorded, so it will appear in our webinar archives over the next day or two. So if you have any questions, certainly you can ask us now, or you can contact me, I'm Jonathan Kay, Steve Ward in the center, or Danielle Spivak. We're always happy to help you get the most from Sims you share, especially with such an important feature here. Uh, we th really think this is gonna be uh, groundbreaking, being able to put fully interactive Sims into your online e-learning. Thank you very much for your attention.